back with my old buddy here today. Y'all y'all remember in the Kia? We headed to the boat ramp. We're gonna go down here and uh, I guess we're gonna fish hold, but I don't, I don't guess it matters. <laughs> I don't guess it matters what we tell them. We fish in the, we could be fishing anywhere, but we're gonna be on the Warrior River today. And uh, we got some uh, storms coming in through the night. Been a rainy weekend. I have no clue what the crappie are doing down here right now, but we're gonna go down here and throw some jigs and see if we can't find a crappie. So welcome back to AWF Outdoors. We'll catch y'all when we get out on the water. Uh -huh. We're just checking different things that we've found over the years here and see if we can find some crappie on something. So There wasn't but one fish on that little spot, so we're going to look at something else. Dose. We might be facing catching mess of them right there. I'll show you the screen here in just a minute what I'm looking at. This is off the edge of the river. Crappie this time of year is starting to come up out of the deeper parts and moving up on structure along the river channels. They're getting at the mouth of these sloughs and just inside of them. They're getting ready for that big spawn. So uh, there's number two. I'll show you what it looks like on the screen, what we're looking at here. It's right here, this right here, whoops. That right there is a crappie. And the key, I've got one right here. Good fish. Good fish. Good eating fish, too. River Channel, River Channel Crappie. Okay, they back up at eight foot now. No, no they ain't. They're still down at 10 and 12. Down on that stump over there. Let's see if I can find that stump. That's crazy. See that little snag right there? I had never seen them on there. That's 40 foot out. I hadn't either. That's 40 foot out. <clears throat> All right, now let it drop. Let it drop, and I'm gonna see yeah. if I can find it on here. There. Okay, start really, really slow. Did it? Uh -huh. Did he get it? Just let it fall right in his mouth. You know where they're at now, don't you? Where they at? All right. Let's see this fish here, and I got to go back fishing, guys. I can't stand here and watch somebody else catch fish. There ain't no hey, monster, but hey, the keeper. Everybody's thinking about Valentine's and turkey season. What you thinking about? I, not turkey season or Valentine. Yeah, that's some good fish, and you can see them out there at 50 foot. You fixing to do some filming. I, I can't, I can't do the all the filming. <laughs> huh? I got in his boat as a, as a photographer, not a fisher. yeah. Hey man, there's a pile of these right here out there. We fish yeah. to catch some of these. I hope I get one. You want me to let you catch one? Yeah. All right. Just one. There was some live well, amigo. Yeah, I'm like a deck hand. Ain't that what it would be? Yeah, that's what you are—a deck hand of your own boat. How about putting out fish in the live well for me, there, amigo? I got it. Hey, let me set you up on one. You ready? I'm gonna tell you where they're at. It's I was to trying to, catch, to catch one on this. I'm fixing Throw to put this down. Throw that garbage away and put the, what you need on there. Fixing to put this down. Look fishing with y'all. <laughs> <Don't laughs> spinner bait. It. I can't even get bass fishing out of it. Don't even show A it. A spinner bait. Uh, hey, I'm sitting here pulling crap in. He wants to use a spinner bait. I'm gonna tell you what. I'm gonna get the net out just in case. You better get the net out, baby. We might get us a four or five pound. Hey, that's some big fish here. Try that out there and see if it hit it. Or you can go ahead and put this on. No. I'm fixing, yeah, I'm fixing this. <laughs> right hey, go ahead and change that color too on there. Might as well. Hey, that's a good color right there, but this water's stained. 
Oh, uh, that black, that black chartreuse blue, that right there is it on this stained water. Now, when it got clear, that Tennessee shad he had there was good. But uh, I'm gonna let Nakia catch one of these fish here. They stacked up on one timber over here. Just inside a little slough, you can see we're along the river. So uh, we're on the riverbank. Sandwich and a half. Hold on, ain't it? Mm -hmm. Hold him up one second. Boys, we riding on riding on the river, looking for structure out off the river channel. And uh catching a few fish. This makes about what our third or fourth spot we stopped on. Last two last two spots we stopped we caught fish. Yeah. They still fish yeah. here. We got more locations trying to get out here. We got a, a lot of rain coming. Caught fish on all three spots. Right. But uh, just taking advantage of the evening. And uh, let me go. Oh, yeah, I was going to tell you too, the, uh, the temperature. So water surface temperature, 51.6. It is 337. Let's go catch some more crappie. Another one bites the dust, baby. Can't beat that. Uh, early spring, late winter crop fishing. They pile up, baby. Start to get a little thickness on them there. Got them shoulders on them. That's about a, what, a little over a pound, pound and a quarter fish. Some good eating right there. So let's go to another spot and try another one. Ready, Big Daddy? Ready. Good fish. It ain't getting fat with eggs yet, though. Might be a male. Oh. It could be. I'm not sure. Anybody know how to tell a male crappie from a female? For sure. There you go, boss man. Are you? Yeah, I'm showing everybody what a crappie fisherman looks like with a bass rod and a boat. <laughs> <laughs> you just can't break that habit, can you? Them old habits hard to break. That's a song about that, ain't it? Yeah. They'd rather it about you bass fishing when you're supposed to be crappie fishing. Here, explain yourself what you're doing now. Explain yourself what you're doing. <laughs> I don't know. No. <laughs> I'm just throwing a jerk, right? <laughs> explain yourself. What, what are we doing? I don't know nothing about this right here. We, no way off, fishing. way off course, ain't we? What I don't know that? about crop fishing. I don't know about this. I just wanted to come in and make a closing for the video. We got caught out in the rain right there at the end of the afternoon. Had a big storm come through, so I didn't have an opportunity to do it on the water. So we had to leave. But uh, yeah, Nakia's a good friend of mine. We cut up with each other a lot, and it's always fun to fish with him. Uh, he cuts up with me just as much as I cut up with him. So. Anyway, right now, man, if you're looking for crappie, uh, look for look for these places that 
just do a lot of searching and find structures and things that that crappie like to hold on and what we're finding crappie right now is usually either on the outside edge of the river on structure that they'll pull up on and they'll they'll come in there first start staging around those areas on any type of woods or stick ups or standing timber brush piles whatever but they'll stay and they'll come out there and stay on that stuff until it gets right for them to start moving on up into the to the creeks and start spawning and they are moving up into the creeks in some areas right now water temperatures around here in central alabama has been probably around 48 to 52 degrees right now but we've had a warm week and it probably if we get if we get cold weather again you know it'll probably set them back some but, but they're ready so uh just just find you something around the, the mouth of the creeks or the sloughs just do a lot of searching is the best advice i can tell you and just find structure that's there even if there's no crappie on them and you have the gps capability to mark those locations go ahead and mark them because they will be pulling up on those places so that's that's areas we're targeting right now it's uh i think february 11th uh 24 so you know the next couple months are going to be really really hot so we've been, we're going to be catching some big crappie and they're just getting ready so i appreciate y'all watching again and i'll try to get some more content i know it's been a long time since i've been able to share anything uh, i made on some of my last videos I, I told you that i'd been on the road with one of my sons as a traveling musician so that took me away from crappie fishing i just prioritizing my time i really enjoy being out there with my kids and and enjoying that part so that's where i've been and uh, i've been off the road now for a few months i had a heart attack back in october so that set me back and uh, i'm getting better and getting my strength back and looking forward to doing some more crappie fishing just hanging around the house more and uh, probably won't be on the road as much as what i have been for the last year and a half or two years and uh, looking forward to making some more videos for you guys so uh, if you haven't already subscribed please hit the subscribe button and i'll really appreciate that so we'll see you next time and thank you for watching awf outdoors